Good evening all and welcome to another video on All How The Ale. Tonight we are having a stout that I've been looking for for absolutely ages and finally found some whilst on a, uh, on a business trip down to London. Uh, I called in my local at the point Waitrose and found the beer in question. The beer is this one. It is my beer coast millionaire. And anyone who knows me personally will know that I would happily replace my blood with uh, some form of salted caramel. And of course this is the salted caramel chocolate and milk stout from Wild Beer Co. And it weighs in at 4.7%. It's a 330 mil can and I paid just over two quid a can in uh, Waitrose. And it says on the side of the can, drink wildly different, a decadent dessert of a beer, rich and moorish, sweet and salty, velvety and luxurious, savour the flavour. And that, my friends, is exactly what I plan to do with this one. Um, I know from the description just how good it, I expect it to taste, but does it taste as well as I think it will? Let's find out, shall we? Let's crack it open and see. I have literally been hunting high and low for this for months, and uh, yeah, let's go. All right, so we're gonna pour into a Northern Monk glass, and the pour is hopefully black. It is nice and dark. It's pouring well. It's pouring with some authority. There we are. That is as, I was going to say it's black. There is a touch of mahogany coming through the bottom. Uh, I've obviously got lighting over here. That is really, really deep brown. A little bit hint of mahogany coming through. The head is dissipating relatively quickly and it is quite clearly tan in colour and mm, reasonably consistent and, and compact. Dark, looks good, sort of a whiff. Mmm, I'm getting coffee, I'm getting the chocolate, I'm getting a little hint of something sweet. It smells like a mocha, which is a good sign. Let's have a taste. Cheers. I like that. Unsurprising, really, given the, the ingredients and the, and the flavour profile that it offers. It's medium on the body. It's sweet. It's a nice bitterness there as well that comes through after the sweetness fades. Plenty of chocolate. Little tiny hint of the salt. Yeah, that's, that's dessert in a glass, as they say. Now... I'm drinking it room temp because I like the stouts that way. I think it allows the flavours to kind of develop a little bit more and just dance over your tongue and do their delightful little waltz. And it's doing a lovely little waltz on my tongue. Mm. There's coffee, there's berry notes, there's milk chocolate, there's dark chocolate, a little bit of salt. Not a huge amount of the caramel, but that's not entirely unexpected because of the strength of the, the kind of malts that are going on. It's there, but it's not dominant. Mm. That is rather lovely. The finish is where you get most of the caramel. And it kind of hits you at the roof of your mouth, which is kind of strange. Mostly, obviously all your taste buds are on your tongue. But when you lick the roof of your mouth, when you've had a sip, that's where you get it. It's, it's weird. It works though. It's really, really nice. Mmm. I'm glad I bought a few of these. So, Wild Beer Co. Millionaire. Salted caramel and chocolate milk stout. What do I think of you? Would I buy you again? Silly bloody question really, isn't it? Come on. Um... Would I rush out and buy it again? Again, that is a rather daft question. Um, it's like asking a child, would it like some sweets? Of course it's going to say that. And I'm going to say exactly the same thing. Yes, I would love some more of this. Um, would I give it five out of five? Does it tickle my pickle in that way? I think it does. Uh, it's got all the flavours that I like. 
But I just wish it had a little bit more of the caramel. It's very, very good, though, and I really can't find much to fault it with. That's the only thing I would like to see ramped up in the way. I'll tell you what would be really good, uh, while Beer Co., is if you made an Imperial version of this. You know, ramp everything up to 11 in the Spinal Tap fashion, and it would be absolutely incredible. It's incredible as it is, you know, but make it really incredible. Whack it up to 11. So, on that note, I'm going to give the Wild Beer Co.'s Millionaire Stout four and three quarters out of five because it's got that little bit of room for improvement. Not a lot, just a little bit. So there we are. Ladies and gents, boys and girls, thank you for watching. This has been the Wild Beer Co.'s Millionaire Stout. I've been Nick, and I will see you again soon for another video. Bye.